with Chenny and a cup, but you can call me Chenny. After last week, I was wondering what should I talk about next? What we should talk about next? What would be the good topic? And um, while I was thinking about that, this popped up from somewhere. Internet is big. And I was thinking, yes, now it's a good time to talk about self-image and being more specific body image. I read an article where Finnish dietitian Annette Bausa said that today's people body image may often seem like self-image. Previously, the self-image has being influenced by nature, action, personality. According to her, where this formidable trend where feeling good about appearances is the basic element of self-image. Approximately a year ago, this Australian journalist, Manessa Proud, made an article about the Dove Beauty and Confidence Report, where they were questioned over 10,500 women and girls ages between 10 to 60 from 13 different countries. Journalist Brown spotted that according to this report, 89% of Australian women are opting to cancel plans, job interviews and other important engagement simply because how they look. Okay, this study is made by company, duh. I'm a little bit skeptic, maybe. Uh, is this part of some marketing campaign or what? But there's still freaking big number of women who are maybe canceling something nice and important just because how they look. 89% is not aesthetic problem. It is cultural problem. So let's get to into this issue. Everything starts from the childhood, of course. Everything starts from the childhood. Clinical psychologist Christopher Hunt from University of Sydney made research of gender roles, norms and stereotypes. And let me quote him. Studies have shown that once parents know the sex of their child, they are different in how they describe feeling them move. A boy who is felt kicking is called an active or future soccer player. A girl who is felt kicking is called temperamental and emotional. The same sensation is given a positive connotation for boys and negative for girls. Tina Teras from the University of Helsinki made study where she was filming daycare center's life for three days and counted compliments that were given to the kids. Boys were giving you compliments of their actions, activity and skills, where girls were giving compliments of how they look, what they were wearing, and when they were helping others. So it all starts from the childhood, and this two different kind of state of culture follows us. For example, magazines, the ones that are for men, are mainly based on some activity, hobbies, and functions, where magazines for women are guidebooks, how to fix yourself to something better. This culture where media is giving us the orders, what to eat, what to wear, how should we do our makeup or hair? Ah, <laughs> boys! <laughs> how much and what kind of exercise we should do? What kind of boobs we should have? How to get best as ever? How to get guys' attention? How to take care of our skin? What kind of cream to use to avoid wrinkles? Plus, that image in media where women are judged as a romantic or sexual partners based on their physical appearance. I wanted to point it out that if you're feeling insecure about your body and yourself, that's freaking logical response to this culture. Like if we start wondering now why women are having this lack of will to fooling around, well maybe because after day seeing all these images, we can spot only flaws in our bodies. And that is not good mood, that is not good start for a nice sexual experience. And let me be clear, having critical way of looking at media and culture is not the same as being against it. I'm not against makeup and exercise tips. I read both, I enjoy those. This media that I'm talking about is like chocolate. It's fun and easy to enjoy, but if you have too much of it, 
you feel kind of like icky and bad about yourself. The real nutrition are coming from the respect of yourself. Be critical, put things into perspective, be good to yourself because that's the only person that you need to spend with your entire life. So instead of put all the energy to point out some flaws in you, why not begin to cherish all the good things that is in you? I can tell it's much more fun. And sexuality, that's art in your body. If you like this video, please subscribe and maybe leave some comments down below. There's going to be a new video next Thursday. Till the next time, hey!